have some fun. This is the 18th of December, 2014, for Vincent Corporation. And here we have a fiber filter with a uh, special custom-made funnel to feed the flow into the fiber filter. So this is the inlet to the machine. You can see there's a tube down here going in. So the liquid dilute flow will go in here it will be inside this sleeve. You can see this is a fabric sleeve. It's stretched tight. The holes are very small. Um, there you go. You're looking at 31 microns. There you caught it in focus for a moment. Uh, the filtered liquid will come out down here out of the drain because the filtered liquid comes through this fabric. Hopefully the solids get stuck in the machine, these springs hold that fabric tight. It has to quiver so that it doesn't blind and the water will come through it. And the sludge produced or separated by this machine will come out here and go into a bucket we're going to put on the floor. Uh, we only have a five gallon sample. There it is. Um, probably not even five gallons, very dilute. So we probably won't get any sludge to come out here. So what we'll do is after we pour our five gallons in, uh, we'll stop the machine. We think we've got the elevation about right. The elevation is adjusted right, well, right there, by that mechanism, right there. And um, so after we pour in our material, we'll uh, take the head off the machine and see what we've caught inside this fabric sleeve. This air sonar arrangement system that is the spray water is hooked up in here with a timer some people spray down the sleeve um, this material I wouldn't expect we're stirring the sample uh, if we've got something with a lot of pectin in it we have to backwash the outside of the sleeve and that's done with, uh, with that spray system that material on the inside of the fabric. It, we've collected some stuff. Okay, we've taken it out. Here it is. This uh, gray container. It would have come out of all the sludge discharge sport. So this is the 31 micron material. Uh, while we're at it, you can see the inside of the machine. This is our rotor. Uh, these are paddles on the rotor that splash liquid against the uh, fabric. This is a ribbon flight material that augers the solids towards the discharge down at this end. Uh, the stuff on there probably fell out when I pulled the sleeve out. Okay, the, the material uh, we're looking at there uh, most likely fell out. It didn't accumulate there. It fell out when we disassembled the machine. It was captured and inside the sleeve. Uh, this is the spray system that I mentioned, uh, the one that travels with that air cylinder. Okay, we just undid uh, this sleeve, the one we're putting on here is, uh, what's the micron rating on that one? Uh, 14 micron. Uh, oh, that's the date. 12 micron. 12 micron. 12 micron, and that's made out of peak. I can tell because of the uh, yellow color. That's acid resistant fabric. It's very uh, strong, as you can see, it's very flimsy, but it is very strong fabric. That one, uh, the white one, is polyester, uh, also uh, uh, a standard. Peak costs twice as much as polyester. We supply mostly peak sleeves. They aren't available in 31 micron. You may recall this view of the rental fleet. What I glossed over is here we have a larger size fiber filter. 
Uh, this one uh, has, I think, three or five times the capacity of the little six-inch model. This is a 12-inch uh, model. There's also a 30-inch model, which is used in uh, wastewater treatment at canneries, uh, but um, that's a real high GPM. But anyway, here's the uh, next larger size machine. Four. This is the filtrate from the first run. See what goes on there. Much slower flow coming out. And we're purging a little bit here, but we've probably got some free thickening. And that, the reason it's coming out so liquid there is uh, the fine fabric.